Yay, it's take four because I keep forgetting to do certain things with my camera and I just realized that when I after I finish everything I did my punchline at the end well not really punchline my little joke at the end I've got everything organized in my tackle box my hands are all oily and I just forgot one last thing can y'all guess what it was no it wasn't turning on my camera nope wasn't that either I did I had enough time I forgot that a quarter pounder had little fingers that could touch my stop button on my video and completely in that like I was barely even done with the crankbait part of the thing which is the first thing I did and take one take two take three now I'm gonna take four so hopefully this will work and just talking about that is a whole minute so, anyways, let's get this started. So first, I got this H O Express Model S uh, Blue and Chrome Crane Bait. Uh, really nice hooks on it. I've been hooked several times. And take one, and take two, and take three. Hopefully not this take. <laughs> so, anyways, really nice bait. Uh, again, like I said in the last three takes, <laughs> I'm gonna keep bringing up the three takes. This costs about three dollars, which is the same amount it takes that I use to get to this point. So, <laughs> anyways, this costs about three dollars, two ninety nine. Uh, really nice bait. You can bang this up against a bridge a couple times and it'll be okay. Okay, we got some more Asia Express slipless crankbaits. Now, uh, this is a bluegill pattern. Again, really nice hooks. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the uh, company that they make their hooks. That makes their hooks. Because I think it's like, starts with a, it starts with a G. I have a couple of their treble hooks. And then, uh, got a crawfish color. This is a, uh, it's like a shiny, look like a glitter red craw. So now with the crane bait section. So I got three new crane baits. Uh, let's move on to the spinner bait section. I'm doing this all in the right order. These are Wahoo uh, spinner baits. Uh, there are two spinners. This one works more as an uh, inline spinner, and this one works just as a normal spinner because this one actually can. Uh, this one like goes all the way up here and then just spins around this. And most of the ones I've saw had like different. Like, it would have a piece that would go off right here. So it would have two of the big spoons out, spinners that would be out. And then it would have one like this. This is a whole different design. Again, uh, Wahoo. Now, what I didn't realize when I was buying both of these is they have two different heads. So I'm guessing this is a lighter one, this is a heavy one, because this one has a bigger head. This one has a smaller head. Okay, so now we're done with that. Black and blue skirts. Just like always. So the dirty water that we have down here in Louisiana. So speaking about Louisiana... The bass in Louisiana are only about three pounds, which is the same amount of takes that it took to get to the fourth take, which we're on right now. Uh, again, really nice looks. This is made by Striking. And uh, I've had Striking lures in the past, uh, crank baits, and all. I like them. Everybody knows about the uh, 1.5s and the crank baits, the square bills. Really nice, I like the hooks, a uh, nice weed guard right here. The smallest 3 16 out size, so we got two of those, both black and blue skirts. Okay, uh, I'm going to take one of these out. These are uh, Zoom Fat Albert Grubbs Green Pumpkin color. And they're a curly tail. And basically, I'm going to either set these up with a Carolina rig or a umbrella rig or just something that's really good with these uh these would really work good because if you had uh what the next product was i was about to show that kind of goes with the, also the next product i'm about to show you is one of these little weights these are made by water gremlin these are slip sinkers really nice uh you can put one of these uh, i forgot this is a carolina yeah 
I think so. I'm I'm all mixed up right now, guys. I've been sick. If I haven't talked about that already, I've not said in the past three takes. <laughs> three takes, man. It takes me this hard. Okay, this is how hard YouTube is. Okay, so anyways, these I'm gonna put like I imagine this like it would be like you'd have the weight in front of you and you bring it down. This tail would be going everywhere. And then you pop it back up a little bit, and then right when it's going down, a bass will just grab the whole thing. Just eat it. So again, both of these, I'm going to use these together. And uh, I, it was like a... It was a 10-pack. I also got these, um, like, 4-inch... Uh, these are either 3 or 4-inch uh, yum dingers, and I got... I'm going to also use these for the Carolina rig. I might make a Nico rig out of this. And, uh, if y'all know what that is, it's basically where you take like a screw or a nail and you put it into one side of it. So it gives it kind of more weight and it'll kind of droop off. And you put it in like a wacky rig type of style. And it basically kind of works like that. So anyways, got that. And... For the best bait I think I got out of everything, which we're going to take a little commercial break. By the way, guys, that actually was not an actual uh, commercial. That is a brand of weights that me and my dad bought, and it so happened to come with a sticker. And I was like, man, that's a funny thing. So I put it on my dark box. And the weights, pretty funny. So anyways, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about something I didn't talk about before. If y'all didn't know, the, all the H2 Express base that I got here are $2.99. These were like $1.99, I think. They were like $1.99. These were like $2-something. They are like $2.29, the jigs. Um... The Yum Dingers were, I don't remember, they're like somewhere from two, three or four dollars. Um, again, with the Curly Tails, they're about three dollars, I think. And then, uh, these Sinkers were like one dollar and something, so those were cheap, which I really like because it's a 12 pound, it's a 12 pack for that amount of money which is not that bad so um yeah so we're gonna go into the final bait um it costs about two dollars one dollars to two dollars uh i've used this in so many applications i've used but i didn't talk about one more thing hold up before we go into final baits we all know them we all love them popping corks mm. if if you want to be like the pros, get these popping corks, okay? Only the pros fish with these. Mmm, $1.99. Boom. <laughs> just kidding about this. So anyways, no, I just got them because we needed them, and why not? I'm mean, only $1.99 a pack, and why not? Why not? do it that's that's just late no so just to finish out the video i this is like one of my favorite baits i mean i've used it on even popping corks i've used it as carolina rigs i've put them on drop shots i put them as wacky rigs i mean they're good for everything i'm gonna give you a couple couple seconds to guess what they are they're they're, they're a really nice brand. They've been around for a good amount of time. If you said Strike King, no. If you said A Show Express, no. If you said Zoom, no. If you said Yum, no. If you say Wahoo, no. If you said H and H, no. It's actually a really known brand, but most people don't think of it when they're buying fishing baits. And I'm surprised because it's a really cheap brand. 
Well, the best bait I've got are these Twizzler Twist best baits on the market, 8 inches. Twizzlers! No, that was a joke. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. I just wanted to show you all all the new stuff I got for around $30. And if you have an academy buy, don't go to Bass Pro, don't go to Cabela's. I mean, they have good baits there. Their, their variety is different from Academy. But Academy just has the best bang for the buck down here in Louisiana. So, anyways, I mean, I have really nothing else to say. Uh, I mean, I could say something really stupid, you know, but, uh, Anyways, uh, please like, please subscribe, uh, give me some ideas of what you think I should do. I am going to be doing some fishing videos. I'm going to buy me a mount for my phone that I'm going to be able to attach to my boat so where I can do some fishing videos out in salt water and maybe I can do some in fresh water. So, yeah. I'm going to be able to do, like, uh, videos of me out in the tube, too, so if y'all want to see me, like, riding and... No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. That's from my other YouTube channel. Just kidding. I'm not posting anything on my other YouTube channel. Forget it. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, I would like for y'all to just like and subscribe if I haven't said that before. Uh, again, I really recommend the king size, so if you don't get the king size, you're dumb. Yeah. You're dumb if you don't get the king. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, I would like to uh, hear what y'all guys want to see from me. Uh, what I would really like is, uh, y'all can send me on email. I'll put my email down in the description below. Of the biggest bass you have caught on a pitcher. Like, send, email me a pitcher. And I'll have that down there. And uh, in the s s description below. Uh, so, anyways, I'll talk to y'all guys later. And well.